Hi guys, so I am subscribed to the Tor um, newsletter and they recently put out a quiz called How Would You Die in a Fantasy Novel? And it seems to be inspired by Holly Black's new release, Book of Night. Um, and a little bit about the quiz itself. It says, how would you die in a fantasy novel? You, yes you, you, well-read connoisseur of fantastical novels and speculative fiction. Is your search history filled with phrases like top 10 saddest anime deaths? <laughs> Don't worry, us too. But what about your tragic ending? Fantasy authors are experts at conjuring a convoluted demise. Have you ever wondered how you'd make your exit if you were dropped in a fantasy novel? Wonder no more! Simply click and discover, for we have developed a tool to forecast your dramatic downfall with curated book recommendations to match. That got better. And then the <laughs> button is die, die, die. Let's click die, die, die. Okay, let's see. Okay. Question one. Fun. You're going on a grand quest and the ancient prophecy allows for a plus one. Who's coming with you? The only one who always has my back, my shadow. I've fostered several strategic partnerships and will grade my potential companions on the survivability, likelihood they'll betray me and how fun they are to travel with. This, these are equally important. My tested and true partner in crime is with me. We've been through a lot together and we'll get through this too. Oh me oh my. How exciting. Just kidding. Everyone hates my guts. Someone from my past. Someone or something I can't escape. I'll probably go for my tested and true partner in crime. Okay. What are your dreams for the world you leave behind? I have no future dreams, only present nightmares. <laughs> oh my god, that's so brooding. That through my efforts, my world was radically changed for the better. Are these like lines? Some of these lines from books or something? Only that have having accomplished everything I'd ever want in leaving, I never look back. That people I've known won't regret having known me. Mm -hmm. That I fought hard to make a place I could breathe and be safe. If I have to die, I want to do it at home. Oh, I'm between. I'm stuck between the last two. But I think I want to go for that people I've known won't regret having known me. Okay. Ah, someone's picking a fight. What's your combat philosophy? Tools are the key to victory. Use what you have and use everything if you have to. Nothing's more valuable than life. Okay, yeah. Run, run, run away! Why would I participate in a fight I might lose? <laughs> yeah, me. Welcome them home. It's better to fight with a home advantage. That's clever. Look for outs. You don't have to win. Just make it not worth fighting you. Okay? It's all about recontextualising the situation. I'm looking for advantage, a barricade, something. Attack at range, pepper with arrows, don't let them get close. I think I'm gonna do the run, run, run away one. <laughs> okay, number four out of seven. What's the scariest place in the whole damn world? Under my bed. <laughs> the face is that. <laughs> Scared me? I'd say you're joking, but it's just not that funny. The mirror, ooh, damn. The old nine to five, no question. <laughs> In the castle of mine enemies. Probably that one. Okay. Let's confront your mortality. How do you feel about the inevitability? Oh, why can't I say that? Inevitability, inevitability of death. Death's coming eventually. It, I've been lucky before. No one's lucky forever. When it happens, I just hope it goes quick. I'll be damned if I let myself die now. Too much to do. I owe this world action. Eat, drink and be merry, for I intend to outlive all of you for as long as I can. Death's just death. We're there, and then we go somewhere else. Nothing to do but try not to die and move on when we do. The dead aren't really gone. They're the ones who impact us, impacted us, impact us still. Wait, the ones who impacted us, impact us still. I think I'll go for that one. Oh, where's the rest of the questions? <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh no, I'm going to have to start again real quick. It's swapping between different quizzes, which is very confusing. Okay, BRB, let me catch up. Okay, one of the questions that I didn't answer on here a minute ago, it says, put on your most badass outfit and give us the gist of your soul. Sile. 
I don't know if that's relevant to dye in. Um, anyway, a calculated look, functional but self-assured, long coats are must, hat to hide my eyes, weapons hidden in an aforementioned coat, of course. Flexibility and comfort, bells, whistles and flashy adornments, I'm all about action, baby. A big comfy cardigan that I can draw tight around me against chills. This works for both the outside air and the cold that resides in the deepest wells of all our souls. <laughs> Leather jacket and cool shades plus my old Chuck Taylor's black. When I'm not on a job, you know I dress to impress. Baubles, trinkets, pomp, pomp, circumstances. What? Ruffles, jewelry and audacity in spades. I think probably the leather jacket one. Oh, this is one of the quizzes. Okay, it just looked really different. Okay, quick, assign your adventure a soundtrack. So we've got The City Is At War by Cobra Starship. Cracks, Flux Pavilion Remix, Freestylers, Bell Humble and Flux Pavilion. I don't know any of these songs. Waylon Jennings Live, The Mountain Goats, Where the Watermelons Rot, Madeline Witt, Shadows of the Night, Pat Bernard. I don't know any of those songs. I'm just going to go for the last one. Okay, so this should catch us up to speed. I've answered all of them how I answered them on here already. So, anyway, it's taken me to this page and it says, Knifed by a Volatile Shadow. Whoa. Other people have enemies, but you've got enemies' enemies. Someone sent a shadow to do you a murder most foul, and they got you too. Real good. In Holly Black's Book of Night, shadows are a source of magic. Practitioners can stitch shadows with parts of themselves or someone else. And with these new hewn tools, dispense with all kinds of shady hair deeds. Based on your answers, we conclude that your dramatic fantasy novel, Demise, lies at the umbral hands of one such mission sense shadow. So concludes our quiz and also your life. But you should absolutely check out Book of Night and try again for a new death and book recommendation. And then it says claim a different death. So I do have Holly Black's A Book of Night. Um, I think it was my last Aluma Cray or Fairy Loot book so i don't have a subscription now but this is the edition i have with the black sprayed edges and after doing that quiz which was really fun despite my confusion at the layout of it on the mobile device um i'll definitely be interested in reading this for sure now because i want to see more about these shadows that are hired to get you because that sounds bloody scary <laughs> Anyway, you guys will have to let me know what you got in the quiz and also if you've read Holly Black's Book of Night um, and if I should bump it up on my priority list. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you in another video soon. Bye!